The Dungeon Dragon movie intentionally emasculated leading men. This is an article that been published on CBR.com a couple of days ago. I've it been brought to my attention on Friday. I don't upload on the weekend, so I'm going to talk about it now. So it says here yeah, that the writing team of uh, Jonathan Francis Daly and uh, Jonathan Goldstein revealed that they intentionally emasculate the leading men. Though they say it's not for wokeness. So don't worry too much about it, Goy. Don't get upset. Don't get revolted. They say they learned an article that they do it because they think it's uh, funny and fresh. But nobody can believe that. Now it's always seen TV. It's always seen movies. It's always seen advertisement. Every time you see a man, he's always portrayed as like unmanly, as an idiot, as an homosexual, or as incompetent in some way. And it's always up to the woman to come and be badass and be the boss babe and to save the day because men can't help themselves. It's always the same thing. It's very, it's par for the course nowadays. And if you expected that the D&D movie would be different, I don't know what to tell you. Of course, it would be woke. Of course, they do that for wokeness. You know, when we see the first image, we knew that the D&D movie would push diversity galore, you know. They casted like, Mitchell Rodriguez as the Barbarian. Barbarian being the most manly class there is. You know, it's the class for the big brawny men. But no, they're going to put like the tiny 45-year-old Hispanic chicks in there. And you know, those guys, those uh, Hollywood type, they hate manly men. They're afraid of manly men because they hate our civilization. And they know that men, competent men, manly men, is what built civilization. And they want to tear it down. They hate, uh, they hate us. They hate our civilization. It's a generational hatred, an ancestral hatred. A very, very long one. And they won't let it go. And now they have control of Hollywood. And they're going to use it to poison your mind. The same thing with the soy that they put in the food nowadays. And in the why they don't do anything about the microplastic in the environment. You know, they say that human beings eat the equivalent of credit card worth of plastic every week now. Those toxins, those environmental toxins, they fucked up with your hormonal balance. It creates more estrogen in men, which compete with the reduced testosterone being created. So that's why we see like the rate of testosterone dropping in men like in the West nowadays. And they poison your body with those toxins, but they also want to poison your mind with those movies all those cultural products they put out that is always promoting degeneracy and always promoting you being weak. Don't let them win. You know, look at those guys. This is them, Daly and Goldstein. Do you think those guys can bench press two plate? Do you think those guys will ever build something with their hand? Do you think those guys could stand up for themselves in the fight? Forget about it. Those guys got like negative testosterone. All they can do is like those little, little scheme and skeeving and like make those little plan and now produce movie or write movie to try to poison your mind. You know, poison is the weapon of the Yenuk. Well, those guys like basically that they might have set up their balls, but they must be so shriveled and tiny that they might as well not have any. So don't let those guys win. Go out there. Be manly. Go lift some weight. Go build something. Stand up for yourself. What you accept is what you're going to get. Stop accepting for those people to insult you constantly. And if you don't see it, if you don't see that all those movies Hollywood put out is always like denigrating you in one way or the other, denigrating your culture, denigrating your ancestor. It's time you get more self-respect. It's time you realize what they're doing. It's time you get wise to their scheme, to their agenda, to how they're trying to poison you. And it's time you say it's enough. And I'm not going to tolerate it anymore. So go out there, be manly, be toxically manly. Because what they call toxic masculinity is what built our civilization, is what built our culture. It's a great thing. It's just toxic to them. 
to those little parasite. Eh, look at them again. This is what is threatened by toxic masculinity. Is those weak ass male there. So go out there. Be manly. Be toxically manly. Take care of yourself. And don't accept to be insulted. Don't, don't let them drag you in the mud. Drag your ancestor in the mud. Have a good day. Be blessed. Thank you for watching.